I'm gonna show y'all my favorite chatterbait to throw. Uh, you know, I know there's a lot of a lot of hoopla around the jackhammer, and I do use a jackhammer as well. But the one that I use the most is this one. This is the Chatterbait Elite from Z-Man. It's a little different than the Jackhammer. It's a little bit from the original. Um, tell you a little bit about what this guy has, what this package entails. First of all, it has a copper hand-tied skirt on it. The head of the bait is, you know, it's pretty much has a detail to match each skirt. So if you got a green pumpkin Chatterbait, there's gonna probably be a green pumpkin head. You can see it's a black and blue, and it's got black and blue with a uh, black head with a little bit of blue metal flake in it. It also has a heavy duty 5 alt hook in it as well, so which is important. When you're fishing a charter bait, you know, a lot of times you're fishing with a pretty big line. Sometimes you need a rod. You know, you're not fishing with just a little medium heavy glass rod. Sometimes you're using a real stick, especially if you're using it in, in grass and you're trying to rip that bait out of grass and you're being a little bit more aggressive with it, you're probably going to use a little bit bigger line and you're going to be a little bit more aggressive. That 5 alt hook, heavy duty, thick gauge wire hook is the hook that you need to hold that fish, keep him pinned and get him in the boat. So that's a couple of things about the Chatterbait Elite that make it different from the OCB. It has a good head shape design. I particularly like this head shape design because it lets the blade of the bait oscillate around. And it obviously when that blade moves around on the head, it does clack back and forth. So you get a little bit of sound and vibration from that. Uh, the other thing I like about this head style is it's sort of like an Arky style head. So it does seem to jump over wood a little bit better in my opinion than some of the other chatterbaits out there. But <clears throat> this is the guy that I like. I, I like it. I like the way the hook butts up with plastics. You know, it has a good keeper on here. So, you know, just like, you know, last tech, it does not pull off of the uh, of the chatterbait when you're throwing it. You know, when you make a real forceful long cast, I don't have to worry about my plastic fouling up and messing and ruining my cast. Today I've been fishing it around docks, skipping the charter bait under docks, in and around the floats and catwalks around a lot of these docks. When I make those casts under those docks sometimes and I'm skipping it using that forceful cast, sometimes if you don't have a good keeper, um, you're gonna lose your plastic and you're gonna waste the cast. I don't have to worry about that with the Chatterbait Elite. Especially if you take just a little bit of super glue and put it right there on the edge of the of the, uh, the plastic when you butt it up against the head, you're not gonna have to worry about that guy coming off ever. It ain't ever coming off. It's pretty much on there for good. So that's how I like to rig that guy. Uh, the Chatterbait Elite, it works great in muddy water, which is pretty much what we're fishing around today. We had a lot of rain in the southeast of, of southeastern United States this spring so pretty much all of our bodies of water you're getting stained water in places that you haven't normally had stain so a chatterbait is a good bait to use in this situation why is a chatterbait a good bait to use if you've ever used them you see how the rod dances around when you throw a chatterbait I mean it really it throws off a lot of vibration the way this the blade on chatterbait dances around you got a plastic that's throwing off vibration the skirt is throwing off vibration so it's just a good bait to fish when you got muddy water conditions because fish can find it it's throwing off so much water that it's easy to find so I like to fish it in a muddy water situation like what you have going on here something that I do a little bit different uh, than a lot of guys with the chatterbait I'm not doing it today because we have a muddy water situation but when I'm fishing in around grass, heavy grass situation, or if I'm fishing, you know, submerged grass in six, eight foot of water, I like to throw my charter baits without a skirt. And to me, just the charter bait elite, the way the head design and the way the blade works against the head, I feel like this charter bait works best without a skirt. Um, you know, than the other charter baits. It doesn't mean that this particular charter bait works best without a skirt, but compared to some of the other Z-Man chatterbaits, I think this one works a little bit more efficiently. It tends to hunt a little bit better on the retrieve with just a, uh, without the skirt and just a trailer. You can see on this guy, I'm actually using the Z-Man uh, Razor Shads as a trailer. I have a bunch of different trailers that I like to use for uh, soft plastics when I'm throwing a chatterbait. One being the Z-Man Razor Shads, which is this one right here. And that's the one that I like to use when I'm throwing a chatterbait without a skirt is I like to use the, the razor shads. One, because I like the profile of the bait. It has enough meat on it that when I throw it without a skirt, it's not too erratic. But the reason that I do like to throw it without a skirt, number one, like I said, the bait does seem to hunt a little bit better. And when you go to rip it out of grass, the way that the bait is very unpredictable, the way it falls, 
when you throw line back to the to the bait. You're gonna rip it out of grass, you rip it out of grass, and every time you rip it and you throw the line back to it, the bait tends to want to dart to left to right much more erratically without a skirt because there's less less resistance there. I also use the diesel minnows as a trailer. Uh, I'll use purple, purple death, I think is the color that I like the best. It's a new color that we came out last year. That's sort of like a, a dark green chartreuse belly with a purple back. I like that. This time of the year I've used whites. Um, that's pretty much the only colors I use. When I'm throwing a chatterbait, I'm going to use three colors. I'm going to use a black, which is this one, black and blue. I'm going to use a green or a brown, which is green pumpkin. And I'm going to use a shad color, any kind of sexy shad pearl blue glimmer, anything like that. Now with the trailers, what I'll do is I keep those three color skirts at all times. A black, a brown, a green pumpkin, and I keep a shad color, right? But I do keep a lot of different trailers in my boat. You can see this is not really your traditional setup right here. I've got hot snakes paired up with a black and blue chatterbait. Why'd you do that? I don't know, it just looks kind of cool to me, to be honest with you. I just try to do stuff that's unpredictable. I keep the three different colored chatterbaits in my boat. It's pretty simple, but anytime I feel like I need to get a little bit more flash, a little bit more color, a little less color, ha, this guy right here, black and blue with the green pumpkin and brown, you know, I, I wanted something to break up that stark contrast of black, so I went with this, this hot snakes color. If I want to get a little bit less contrast, I just change the color trailer that I'm using. That's how, that's how I change up my chatterbait colors. I keep the chatterbait skirts the same and the heads and the, and the blade combinations the same, but I change the plastics. That's how I like to do it. Doesn't mean that's how you want to do it. Maybe you keep the trailers the same and you change the skirts and to get your color difference. But it's just something I've learned to do to keep it simple. And But at the same time, if I need to change, if I need to get a different look, I like to change the, the trailers to get that extra flash or that little bit less um, of contrast, I just change the colors. For the most part, on my dark colors, I go with a black bait blade on my spinner on my chatter base, and then if I'm throwing a shad pattern, I like to go with the chrome or a little bit more flash. That's the way I throw my chatter base. So, the chatter bait elite, that's what I've been using, and I think it's a great, great chatter bait to use for you guys out there this spring to catch some fish with on your home bodies of water.